At the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility, brilliant pencil theme beams of X-rays enable significant advances in virtually every modern science. Often, they allow scientists to carry out studies that are impossible by any other means. Around a one-kilometer circle, 43 experiment stations investigate everything from cancer cells to metal fatigue to photosynthesis. Some spots of X-rays at the ESRF are 10,000 billion times more brilliant than a dentist's X-ray tube. As a beam comes off the ring, it travels through an optics cabin where it is given the specific properties needed for each experiment and then on to the point where it illuminates the sample with X-ray light powerful enough to examine a detail 1,000 times smaller than a human hair in three dimensions and versatile enough to track changes within a nanosecond a thousandth of a millionth of a second. To generate such light requires harnessing an exceptional force. The X-ray beams come off a giant electron storage ring underneath a ceiling made of two layers of concrete and behind a half meter thick concrete wall. In the storage ring, bunches of electrons travel inside an 844 meter long vacuum chamber as empty of air molecules as deep space. At regular intervals around the vacuum chamber, undulators force slalom movement in the electrons, causing them to send bursts of X-rays. The undulators consist of strong magnets alternating north and south pole, which clamp around the electron beam like a set of jaws to produce a high-power magnetic field. It is the work of these undulators that makes the ESRF one of the most intense light sources in the world. Large bending magnets force the electron bunches to change direction and separate from the X-ray bursts. When they are propelled off the storage ring to the laboratory beam line, the very short X-ray bursts are just a hundred micrometers in diameter. The 64 consecutive bending magnets make the electrons complete a 360 degree turn to pass the undulator again and again, 355,000 times per second, each time sending a burst of X-rays. A minute error of positioning can reduce the accuracy of an experiment. Highly sensitive beam position monitors around the ring can locate the electron beam to within a few microns. The electrons have a constant energy of 6 GeV, or 6 billion electron volts. They are injected into the storage ring from a booster synchrotron. Radio frequency cavities accelerate the bunches of electrons in the booster and, in the storage ring, replenish the energy lost from the emission of X-rays. The electrons are produced in this rack. This is point zero for an extraordinary voyage, taking electrons at the speed of light over distances greater than the distance from the Earth to Jupiter. As they travel, the electrons emit X-rays powerful enough to penetrate into the essence of matter. And it all begins with a shimmering cathode, just as it does for the electrons in your television set. Thank <laughs> you.